Once you've created your speaker one sheet or your media kit, one of the things that will be used the most is the first line of your bio, otherwise known as your biography. I always recommend that you provide a 100 word and a 150 word biography because the people you're providing it to will be able to then take from it what they need. But you do wanna provide a 100 word biography as a minimum, because what will happen is they usually use the 100 words. And if you give them more than that, maybe it's 102 words or 103 words and they need 100 words, then they will take those words out themselves. They'll make their own critical decision around shorten it down to 100 words. And you don't really wanna give your power away to somebody else to take control of that. And I'll give you an example of that. A few years ago, one of our clients submitted their biography to a magazine that was printing an article about uh, mothers. It was an article, it was a magazine for uh, for, pe- for mothers, specifically uh, parents. Um, and one of the things that she did was to build the whole article around busy mothers. And that's her target audience was busy mothers, not just mothers. But she thought this would be a great magazine for her to um, submit her article to. And she managed to get the article through to them. They loved it. But in her bio, so the article was all about busy mothers. In her bio, because it was a couple of words, over 100 words, they decided to take the word busy out And so it was just then aimed at mothers. And of course, mothers and busy mothers are two totally different types of dream client, right? So that really minimized and diminished the power of her biography because now it was just aimed general as opposed to being more specific and niched. So I would rather that you took control over the words that are removed (laughs) than to give that power away to somebody else. So usually what will happen is when someone like myself is interviewing you, they'll usually take that first line of your biography. So you want to make that first line of your bio really easy to say. I would usually incorporate your vision. So if you've been through uh, any of my programs, we work on a 10 second, 30 second and 60 second pitch. And that first 10 second uh, piece of your pitch is your vision. The next 20 seconds is your mission. And then the final 30 seconds is the actual pitch for whatever it is that you are talking about. And we do, we have a a seven step brand Kickstarter process that walks you through that. If you haven't been through the seven step brand Kickstarter, uh, reach out to me or I'll make sure there's a link for that below so that you can go through that process and get your own 10 second, 30 second and 60 second pitch. But when I say 10 second pitch, the most important thing is that you have your vision as part of that 10 second pitch. And so when you're creating your biography, uh, you want to get your vision into that. So I'll just show you on my screen right now an example of my introduction to my biography. In fact, I'll put my whole bio here so you can see the uh, the 100 word bio as an example and you can see that first line and that first line is what is usually going to get used when I introduce people onto the Ripple Makers podcast the Ripple Makers show uh, any of the um, uh, Ripple Fest events that we run any summits that we run I always only ever use that first line that first introductory line so it's really important that your most powerful Uh, thought-provoking, interesting uh, summary of who you are, how you want to be introduced is captured in that first line. It's a bit like with your website. People don't want to scroll down to find lots of things. They want to see the most important stuff at the top, above the fold. And so above the fold is a technical term uh, when it comes to using websites. But I would say it's the same thing for your bio. Make sure the most important introductory piece is in that first 10 second pitch that first 10 seconds of introducing you and then if they choose to use any of your your other pieces in your bio then they can of course take it from there but i would say that first piece make it as punchy and 
as prominent as you can make it. If you speak on uh, webinars, if you speak on online summits, um, you know, if you want to be featured more as a speaker, then and you want to do that internationally. If you're already speaking on Facebook Lives, if you're already doing those things, then you're already an international speaker. So, uh, you know, get the word international speaker into the title. Just put in international before speaker, um, whether you put keynote speaker or whatever, inspirational speaker, whatever kind of speaker you are. I would put international at the front of that, because if that's what you want, then make sure you put that in there. And you're not lying if you are doing Facebook lives, if you are doing webinars, if you're running summits or you're speaking on other people's summits, if you're speaking on other people's podcasts, then it's likely that those podcasts are going to be internationally listened to, which makes you an international speaker. So just think about you know, how that's perceived, you know, an international speaker is perceived higher up than just a speaker. So, you know, obviously, um, be true, be authentic to what you're putting into your, your bio. Um, for example, other things like, um, if you've won an award, so you might not have won a physical award on somebody's stage, but maybe you were awarded based on your participation, like, um, at Ripple Fest, sometimes we run awards and, you know, we'll we'll have, um, you know, uh, greatest change maker of the month and things like that. And so if you've won an award like that, then you are award winning. If you've award, been awarded for your participation in anything, then you are award winning. So you could get award winning into there. You know, it's, it's not lying. It's authentic as long as you have won an award. And especially if you've won that award for um, for s stepping up, for speaking out, for um, helping others, then you definitely want to get that in there because that's ultimately what you're doing, isn't it? So what I would suggest you do is really make sure that first line, that first sentence of your bio is, you know, international speaker, uh, award winning, if you are award winning, if you're an author, if you've published any books, if you've been published in somebody else's book. Um, you know, these are all things for you to consider to add in to that profile. And just remember that your bio is an organic living, breathing, growing thing. As you grow, so does your bio. So it's not like, you know, if you think to yourself, but I haven't won any awards and I'm not internationally speaking yet and I'm not a published author, I'm not any of those things, but you have the desire to do that, then definitely speak to me because if I can't support you, then I'm surrounded by other people that do all of these things. So reach out to me and I'll connect you with the best of the best to help you with that if we can't support you ourselves. And, you know, things like, um, you know, being a published author, that's actually very easy to become a published author. There are ways that you can do that very quickly, um, you know, without even publishing a book. So, that, you know, there's there's ways that you can do it um, that make it very easy for you to do it. And don't stress about it. But, you know, that first introduction, that first introductory sentence, it is one of the most critically important things as part of how you're being introduced to everybody, because that is your first last and lasting impressions if all they do is read that first line to introduce you then that's it's got to be something that you would feel proud to step up and say wow like who is that person that you just introduced but it's also really good for you to create that line Maybe create one that you're actually going to use, but create one that you would love to be able to use in future. What would you love for us to be able to say about you in future? How would you love us to introduce you? Because once you map that out, you go, wow, you know, OK, so I want to be an international award winning speaker. I want to win awards for speaking. I won an, uh, an award for um, being International Speaker of the Year. I've won uh, a, a massive award that I can't, can't fit anywhere on the boat because um, it's huge <laughs> um, for, um, uh, for, for doing over £10 million in sales in the training and speaking industry. So these are awards that I've actually won, but I don't say what awards I've won. I just say International Award Winning Speaker because I've won awards for speaking. Well, at one point I didn't have that. So I would just say to you, uh, where it comes to writing your bio, 
there is a process for breaking it down. I've got a little online program. If you want to go through that program, it will talk you step by step through creating your biography. And uh, it's taken from part of the seven step brand Kickstarter process. But if you don't want to go through the full Kickstarter and you just want to work on your bio, then I'll put a link to that little online course uh, below and just go through that and use the one drop movement community to get feedback on it as you go right so don't sit there in silence don't suffer on this there is support available to you i'd love to be that person that supports you through this and if you if you get stuck on it like i say use the one drop movement facebook community and we can help you live as you go through the process so take care and if you've got any questions please put them in the comments below we'll do everything we can to support you have an amazing day